Greetings and welcome back. We're still talking about area symbols right here and I just wanted to show you another example of a kind of pattern swatch you could create. It's reasonably common in cartography where you shade a region not by hatches like we just did but if you want regularly spaced little points, little dots inside. Well you could do that. Please don't try to draw 50 million little dots all over your map in order to shade some particular region. You can create a pattern brush for that and it's reasonably common to want to shade by dots so I figured let me just give you an example of how to make one of those real fast and also show you another tool that I would use to make that uh, so that you have it in your repertoire. Let's just say that I needed to create a pattern swatch of some little dots. I'm going to use the ellipse tool and maybe I want the dots to be exactly 0.1 inch so a tenth of an inch and I can create it there and now I have the little dot that's going to create my fill pattern. I want to replicate that dot over and over and over again very very precisely. I could have used this technique when I was trying to uh, make the, the cross hatches. Uh, remember I did use the technique last time where I held down the alt option key and then whoop when I want to move this guy and held down the alt option then I move it over and it duplicates it rather than moving it. it moves it to the new place and if I have that selected and I hit command D I'll be able to pop that right over like that and it keeps everything all nice and neatly spaced. The problem was I didn't really know the distance. I didn't really know what this distance is. I just eyeballed it. In this case I want to make sure that I'm using a very precise distance so let me show you how to do that. I'm going to select my little dot here and then go up to object transform and move. Here is a precise dialog box where I can control exactly where I want it to move. If I want to move it I'm going to uh, go over here to distance. I want to move this over exactly a quarter of an inch. You can see the direction I'll be moving it right here. Move this distance at this particular angle. If I just say OK it'll move it over exactly that amount. I'm going to undo that because that's not exactly what I wanted. I want to go back there and I'm going to keep everything exactly the same. 0 0.25 that's what I want except for I'm going to hit copy instead. When I hit copy it copies that over. So I move that over a quarter of an inch. Now if I hit command D and then again uh, I will have all of those lined up should be perfectly, uh, they should already be aligned because I didn't move them at all vertically, I just moved them over horizontally. Now what happens is I'm going to group those together and I want to move those. This time I'm going to move them all down a quarter of an inch and copying as I do so. So I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Move again. This time I'm going to do it at an angle, angle of 270 degrees. Uh, or a quarter of an inch down, I'm going to copy and then copy again and copy again and now that's a way to very precisely make sure that you move an object exactly how you want it to move and you're not doing all that guesswork that I've been doing previously. I'm going to group all of those together and then I I'm trying to make a pattern here of one square inch. That's typically what I do when I make a pattern swatch. I'm going to make one inch by one inch square again. There we go. I'm going to align all of that. Now that's perfectly aligned. I don't want the border though so I'm going to turn that off and group that and then I can drag that over to my swatches. Now if I draw large rectangle, say fill with my dots, I get them all filled exactly like that. And it's not going to stretch my dots if I need to resize the shape of that area. You know, I can be exactly the way that I want it to be. Also very handy is that I can draw some type of organic and fluid looking shape and fill that in with my dots. Those are rather large for symbols there. But you change their colors, you can make them smaller. 
and create the kind of shading that you want. You do have to be careful with this kind of fill because it might give the impression that it's a dot density map. Dot density maps won't have uh, the regularity. Uh, or they shouldn't have the regularity. A dot density map is a particular kind of thematic map that we're going to learn about in, in other courses when we specifically study thematic cartography. But uh, So you may have to be aware of that and you don't want to, to confuse that, but nonetheless putting in some points, putting in dots like this in a particular region for an area symbol is uh, a very common thing to do in cartography, so I wanted to go ahead and show you that technique and then also use the opportunity to show you how to very precisely move objects using the move command under object and transform. That way you don't have to freehand everything and you can make sure that you're very precise. Alright, well I've got one more topic in area symbols and we'll cover that one next.